This channel right here is making more than $2,000 every single month creating videos with the help of AI. Now, if you think that I'm making this up, let me just show you a clip from their own analytics. From 1st of April to the 3rd of April, you could see that I made a total of $2,000 above $2,000. In this video, I'm going to share the entire process of creating token AI avatars that I have broken down into four easy steps to follow. In step one, I'm going to show you how they create their avatar images using AI. I'm also going to be revealing the AI tool they use and also share a better alternative. In step two, I'm going to show you how they use AI to write their scripts. And I'm also going to share the AI tool I recommend for script writing. In step three, I'm going to show you how they create natural sounding human voiceovers with AI. And finally, in step four, I'm going to show you how they put all these together using Canva, hence creating YouTube videos that make them 2,120 per month from ad revenue alone. Now, the goal is not to copy what they do, but take inspiration from the creativity and do something similar. So step one is to create an avatar image like the one you're seeing here on their channel banner and also on their profile. Now, the tool they use to create this image is none other than the mother of all AI, ChatGPT. Now, in order for you to create images with ChatGPT, you need access to ChatGPT 4, which requires you to upgrade your account. However, like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm going to share with you a better alternative that you can use to actually create AI avatars for free. Now, to get access to that alternative, simply come to your browser and search for Bing.com. Once you open up Bing, you'll see why it says Copilot. Now, that is the AI that Microsoft has made available to the public that we are going to use to generate our images so when you click on copilot on the right side here you see why it says designer just click on that so next you have to type in text here that will describe how the AI avatar will appear so I already have text that I already typed out so I'm going to leave this text in the description for those of you who would like to use this exact text and simply click the submit button here copilot will take a few minutes to generate our image and the good thing with copilot is that it uses uses the same infrastructure and you can see here it is powered by Dell E3 the same one that ChatGPT is charging $20 to gain access to so this is our image that has been generated and all I have to do is download any of these images that I'm happy with so I'm going to go with this first one here now before you download the image hover over the bottom right and click on the icon that appears and you want to switch from square to landscape remember we're going to use this in a video so once the landscape version is ready all you have to do is click the three dots on top and you want to download that image so you can simply open up the image to check that it looks exactly how you want it and if you're not happy you can simply generate a new one or make edits to the image that has already been created now step two is for us to create a script for our ai avatar you can simply use chat gpt and even the 3.5 version is just all right however what i recommend is that you come to this website known as iask.ai now this is an ai search based engine now once you are on this ai you want to click on expert mode and you want to type in what your video or script should be about so for example you can type in something like write me a short video script for an introduction on my ai youtube channel dedicated to helping people make money using ai tools and you want to click on i ask ai now it will take a few seconds for the ai to actually write down your script now what you have just to note is that ai is never perfect you might have to make some edits here and there which also allows you to add your personal touch to the script so you can see that our script has been generated by this ai now why i like this ai is that it even gives you suggestions for what video footage you should use or how your video should flow so for example here it's giving a suggestion of having an opening shot of a bustling cityscape at dawn transitioning to a cozy take toward a home office soft upbeat music plays in the background you can see this is a very good ai tool that i recommend you use for scripts so the final step is to copy the script and add it to an editing program like wait or maybe google docs and simply make my own edits remove what is unnecessary add what is necessary so step three is for us to create our natural sounding voiceover and to do that we're going to use a tool known as 11labs.io now 11labs is one of the 
best AI tool, if not the best when it comes to natural sounding voiceovers. Now, Eleven Labs does have a free version. However, if you want professional and natural sounding voices that you can even customize, you might want to invest $1, which is the amount you can pay when you're first starting out with the AI tool. So once you're logged into Eleven Labs, the first thing you want to do, of course, is to change the voice settings. You want to click on this arrow and it will bring out the a number of available voices that you can also edit. You can also add your own voice by clicking the add voice here. So let's say for example, I'm happy, let's say with choosing Adam as my voice who sounds American, has a deep voice, good for narration. So let's just say I go with Adam. Now I just remember that our AI avatar that we actually created is actually female and I'm choosing a male voice here. So I'm just going to change this from Adam, maybe choose a female voice. For example, I'm just going to go with Sarah who has an American voice, soft and good for news. I think no, we need someone maybe for narration. Let's go with Rachel who American, calm and good for narration. Let's go with that one. And you can even do a preview before you actually use the voice. You can listen to read by clicking the play button here. And the next thing you have to do is paste your text here that you have for your script. Now what I recommend is that you don't paste your entire script at a go. You have to paste per section in order for you to get the best sounding voice and it is easier when it comes to the editing section. So let's just say I paste the following here and all I have to do is click the generate now and once you are happy with what has been generated to download the audio simply come over to speech and click the drop down arrow and you see where it says history just click on that and you can see the list of all your generated audio and to make sure that you are downloading the correct one you can simply play your audio and listen to it and once you are happy it is the one just tick it and simply download that audio. Now that we've created our AI avatar we've done the script and also created our natural sounding voiceover the final thing to do is simply head over to Canva and we are going to put all these together in one single video. So once you've logged into Canva you want to click on what says create design and you want to search for YouTube. Under the suggestions that are given you want to click on YouTube live stream video which is 1920 by 1080 pixels just click on that. Now this brings you to a blank page layout. Now what we want to do is to upload our AI image to Canva and all you have to do is click on the upload section here and choose upload files. Now find the avatar that we created using Copilot AI and simply open it. Now once the image is uploaded simply drag it to your page and there we have our image. Next you want to click on the app section here and from here you want to type in D-ID and click on DID AI presenters and you want to click on the first option here with an image of a person. Now you can see that it gives us option to actually choose a presenter and the likes. However, we already have our own AI avatar that we are going to use. So the only thing we need to do is upload our own audio here. I'm just going to click on upload and simply upload the natural sounding voice that we created with 11 labs. So I'm currently not logged into DID, so I'll need to connect it by logging into my DID account. So you have to create a DID account, which I already did a long time ago for you. If it's the first time, you have to create your DID account. So once you link your DID account, you get 20 free credits that you can use to generate presentations. Now, before you click the generate presenter with one credit, what you want to do is make sure that your presenter here is also the one that appears here. So what you want to do is upload the same avatar image to the presenter section. And once your avatar is uploaded, you want to click on it so that you see a highlight, meaning that it has been selected and you want to click now generate presenter. So you can see that our video has been generated and all that is left to do is to delete this background now. Just click on the delete option and you want to click on the video just right click and you want to set video as background like that now you can see that our video has watermarks by did and the reason being is because i use the free plan if you want to remove the watermark you have to be on the paid plan for did in a world where technology evolves at the speed of light one tool stands out through artificial intelligence